Hey cats, it's Ed, Shocks, formerly Aftershocks Bud here. You'll remember a little while back I had a review for you from the Shocks, formerly Aftershocks Open Run. I really like that model, but I really hoped that they'd perhaps do something in the future where I had a little bit more low end, a little bit more bass. Just a more rounding of that low frequency area. Well, Shocks, formerly Aftershocks, have done it. Today I've got my review for you of the Open Run Pro. Thanks for tuning in cats, it's always appreciated. Today I've got a review of the bigger brother of the Shox Open Run. This is the Open Run Pro, which has got a little bit more of a meaty low end. I think it'll be quite welcome to fans of the series. If you're constantly seeking high quality running content, and you found the right place. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, but also click the bell below for notifications when we launch the new videos for you. Also, help the channel out by giving this video a thumbs up like and sharing it with your running buddies. Merci beaucoup. Very quick disclaimer, Shocks, formerly Aftershocks, have sent these over to me for review, but they're not paying me to say nice things about it at all. You know I only say nice things about nice things, right? Thanks to Shocks for sending them over. They've been some real ear candy. So the big bonus here in the Open Run Pro is the enhanced low end or low frequency delivery. We are talking bone conduction headphones here. They are open ear, so you'll be able to hear your surroundings. The birds singing, the cars beeping at you. Although the downside of that is if there's someone you don't want to talk to that you'll be able to hear them and they'll know it. Still a very light package here in the Open Run Pro. They only come in at a few grams more than the Open Run. But in terms of volume, you've got quite a bit more range here. Of course, the improvement here will be down to the source material that you might be listening to. If you're just listening to podcasts and stuff like that, then the Open Run will probably do the trick for you. Though if you're an avid music fan like myself, then the Open Run Pro has quite a few bonuses. I found listening to some tracks with more sort of sub-bass elements, they do really come through more in the Open Run Pro. I mean, they're not going to have the presence of like some closed cup headphones that's just not going to happen is it and you don't really get that in some in-ear headphones either i mean some of the very low frequency stuff that you'll get in a track perhaps in some electronic dance music maybe some old school hardcore or jungle drum and bass those things are meant to be felt perhaps rather than actually heard but again that's not really what the open run series is for is it it's so that you can hear your surroundings still but actually get a much closer representation to the music you love so we've got a step up in terms of the overall frequency range here in the Open Run Pro, but also I found alongside the extra volume, you've got an added sense of warmth here. Everything feels a bit more rounded, slightly more enhanced, I suppose. I think that's down to the added drivers here. They are quite different to the Open Run. Hip hop and very dynamic dance music really benefit from this improvement. Kick drums and snares are a little bit more impactful and energizing. Rock or guitar based music benefits from a slightly warmer sound overall. Speech sounds a touch more natural, perhaps a little less harsh. I think that could be a really big bonus actually if you enjoy listening to podcasts or audio books. I think the Open Run Pro will probably expand the amount of material you want to listen to while you're out running. I think if you're like me and you've got a big collection of music, then that'll be a real boon. If you did enjoy the slightly smaller form factor of the Open Run Mini, that isn't an option here in the Open Run Pro. I think it's the band that actually runs a bit shorter on the Open Run Mini. It's just a one size fits all here. There is a slightly different waterproof rating here in the Open Run Pro. I think it's mainly due to those perforated parts on the drivers themselves. I think the Open Run had full IP67, so it's a bit of a trade off between water immersion in the Open Run and a dust and moisture weathering capability here in the Open Run Pro. In terms of fit, I found no issues really using these with glasses or even a cap. I know I've got it on the wrong way around, but it's just the way I like it. I've had no issues with them moving about, anything like that. I just get a really consistent sound no matter how fast I'm running. The advantages that we had in the Open Run model of that quick charge facility is still here in the Open Run Pro, and that's a fantastic advantage if you're an idiot like me and you've forgotten to charge your headset before you're going out on a long run. A quick 5 to 10 minute charge gave me at least 90 minutes of use. I love the fact I can pair these up with my Garmin Epix 2 watch as well. I can play music off that and I don't have to run around with a phone. I love that. It just makes me feel free, like I've got nothing sort of weighing me down. Free as a bird, as the Beatles said. Well, and Jeff Lynne. 
With a full charge though, and using the microphone over several three hour stints, I got a good nine hours out of these. I really like the magnetic charging cable on the Open Run series. That ensures that your device stays charging, even against the best efforts of your cat. Any jostling of the cable will not knock the charger off of the device, though it is a proprietary connector, so do be aware you're going to be adding another cable to your arsenal. Fit-wise, I found the unit almost exactly the same as the Open Run, and that tiny bit of extra weight doesn't really affect the balance between the drivers and the band at the back of the unit. No issues using these with glasses, been absolutely fine. I did get a lot of questions about the Open Run, actually, but it just doesn't seem to make any difference. The physical controls here on the Open Run Pro are exactly as per the Open Run. You've got previous and next track facilities, all the standard stuff via that multi-function button. There's various different call abilities too, as well as the option to bring up your voice assistant, which never seems to actually do what I want it to do. Some devices can be a real pain in the proverbial if you want to actually pair them to some other technology. Not here in the Open Run Pro, you can actually pair to a couple of different devices, which is fantastic. And I found the charging indicators to be really simple to understand. It's just red for still charging and blue for fully charged it's as simple as that you can get some audio feedback though from the unit itself as to its current level of charge so a great update for those who still want the open ear nature of those shocks products but with an improvement in terms of sound quality and also longevity in terms of power could be worth the extra earth credits for those who want their music a little closer to the standard sound representation that could be worth the earth credits to you it certainly is to me i think these are a real step up from the open run top draw from shocks here with the open run pro something i'm going to be utilizing as often as i possibly can just great to have a really useful device that works and actually does what it's supposed to it's very simple it just does what it says on the tin just enhancing enjoyment of running, which is always something I'm looking to do, but also safety as well. So quite a few people have sort of said that these work very well, you know, but how do they actually sound listening to a certain piece of music that I'm very familiar with? So what I'm going to do is play some stuff on my phone here while I'm listening to it and sort of tell you how I feel about it. Music's about emotion, isn't it? It's not just about function. So listening to Aesop Rock here with the track Supercell, certainly with the Open Run Pro, you've got a little bit more low end there. There's a more rounded nature to the drums. The bass actually really cuts through an awful lot more. You've got like an electric bass that just sort of sits on top of the kick drum certainly some of those higher notes as well in the bass line really cut through a bit more if anything it feels a little bit less compressed i suppose than the open run did so maybe that's down to the added sort of power level i think the drivers in here are actually upgraded from the open run so it could be down to that there's some really good stereo separation here actually in the open run pro listening to the war on drugs now harmonia's dream again the drums really pump if anything, the vocals are perhaps a touch clearer, a little bit more focused perhaps with these bone conduction headphones. I did find sometimes with source material that was quite loud, compressed and limited in some way, there was a little bit of high-end distortion on the Open Run. I'm not finding that at all with the Open Run Pro. The War on Drugs latest album, I Don't Live Here Anymore, is quite powerful, I suppose, when it comes to the mastering process that's been used. But even cranking them up pretty loud now, I'm still getting quite a clear sound. I don't think you can really hear too much of the material coming through. I can certainly hear it, but it's really loud. There's some Andrew WK now, his track Babylon. There's some quite wild, chaotic drums here. And some really big, thick guitars. They come through very nicely. I think they still do a really good job of actually putting across the energy and sort of excitement of a track. They seem to sing a bit more sort of calm now from Krungbin. The track First Class has got some really delicate guitars some quite staccato drums as well very dry and the atmosphere is still there in fact the drums and bass come through even better when the tracks are a little bit perhaps less full in terms of the sound when you've got a bit more space to swim around in the open run pro does a really good job of representing that there you go quite a few different genres there and everything sounding good i think if you've enjoyed the open run then you're going to really enjoy the open run pro definitely try and test it out if you can let me know what you consume your music with, ladies and gentlemen, down in the comments. Musical interlude time. In fact, it's been musical interlude time the 
whole video today. There's a really great new track released by Fontaine's DC. It's called I Love You. It's going to be a track that appears on their new album that comes out in late April. Starts off with a real foreboding atmosphere. A really bare bass line there. No effects, nothing. It's just right out there. Lots of noise. But when everything else comes in, the drums, the guitars and the vocals, it really gives you this quite lavish sort of feeling. It's got a terrifying crescendo that you get in the chorus sort of section. Really does show some growth and development in the Fontaine's DC songwriting capability. It reminds me of so many things, this band. Their sound is a mishmash of loads of stuff throughout my musical life, I suppose. I hear little tinges of the Stone Roses in there, some of the guitar parts. The drums to me often sound so raw. They could be from like a drum and bass track almost. The way that all the sounds mesh together it really is wonderful. A little bit of the Black Rebel Motorcycle Club in there. And I love the vocal delivery from the Fontaine's DC singer. It really is fantastic. He's so true to who he is and what he is and where where he's coming from he's not trying to sound american or anything like that he just is what he is and i really admire that i think this new album could be fantastic go and check out some of their stuff guys if you haven't done so already fontaine's dc right i'm gonna wrap this one up guys until tomorrow if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications when i roll out the new videos for you and you can also help the channel out a huge amount by giving this video a thumbs up like but also sharing it with your running buddies my name's ed bud and i'll be seeing you